The ransom message the kidnappers gave you concerns me. Please get Ozan and meet me back up in the vault. There's something I need you both to see before you get it into your heads again to steal the carrot ib. Will you do this? It might get dangerous. Excellent. My guards inform me that Ozan is back loitering at the foot of the palace steps. I'm sorry I slipped. Death. You know? Got myself officially reacquainted with Al Karid. They have some tasty kebabs over at Karid's. Really? Even after all that business in the palace? You think maybe he's come up with a plan to rescue Prince Ali? Then lead on! Let's go talk to him! I am wholly convinced your aim has always been to rescue Prince Ali, and that you are only trying to steal this diamond in order to pay his ransom. But I caught you in the act. And that was just as well, for, if you recall, the first part of the ransom message says to follow the path of the sun. Into the lion's mouth. Yes, I... Don't forget that second part for a moment. I don't know what that alludes to. What I do know is that the path of the sun is somehow linked to the Carid Ib. The real Carid Ib. I've handed enough precious gemstones to know that's a real diamond. True enough, but it is still not the real Carid Ib. And if you had succeeded in stealing this fake, you would not have been able to find the prince. By getting you to follow this path of the sun, the kidnappers ensure that they are delivered the real diamond. There is no way to even find Prince Ali without taking the Carid Ib, let alone rescue him. I shall not dishonor myself or the Emir's memory by disobeying his last order. Then why tell us all of this? Because I understand how you think, Ozan. And I did not want you to attempt another theft. Especially if all you ended up with was the fake. Wait. Is it that you don't want us to steal the diamond at all? Or just not the wrong diamond? Is this how spies ask for help? I'm not asking you anything. I'm not telling you anything. And I'm certainly not helping you to steal anything. Are we clear on that? I don't suppose you can also not tell us where the real diamond is? Ah. What I can tell you is that placing the heavy weight on the diamond display triggers an alarm, which is how I caught you before. So, maybe you should just keep hold of it. Right. The heavy weight. And what would happen to someone if they were to steal this diamond? Let's just say that your banishment was a lenient sentence. Whoever steals the diamond best not return to Al Karid without it. Right. Of course. You're a crafty one. I'll give you that. I see how it is you became spy master. <laughs> You'd make for a great thief. Indeed. And you, a great agent. Now, I shall lock this vault, and it shall not be opened again until the prince is safely returned. And remember, 
I was never here. This conversation did not happen. Good luck to you both. Come on, we've got to move fast. Grab the heavyweight again, then let's get out of here. If you've got any questions, we can talk once we're out of Al Qarid. For now, just trust me. Good. Now let's get out of here. You go first. This is going to be fun. Can we go again? Okay, this path of the sun has got to be in the desert somewhere. So let's head around the back of the palace to Shantae Pass and get out of here. Where are you taking me? Excuse me? We're not taking you anywhere. Me and my friend here are heading into the desert. I do not wish to go there. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, like I just said, we're the ones going, not you. Please take me back home. Right. I think you've had too much sun, Effendi. You just stay here in the shade. Oh, uh, hello, Effendi. I'm sorry, I did not see you there. How can I help you? Are you heading into the desert? Yeah, we just said. Here, I insist you take some supplies. Really? It is done. Uh, thanks. I think. Well, that was weird. Did it seem to you that Shantae was acting weird for a moment there? You don't think something was controlling him, do you? Like what Kelly did to those mercs back in Draenor. Yeah, I guess. It was uh, still weird, though. Let's just press on. in that air, the open desert, smells like adventure. And maybe just a hint of ook thank you, dang. <laughs> so, did you have any questions before we continue? Osman Plana said to not put it on the diamond display, but to keep hold of it. And thinking about it, 
It's a typically devious Caribbean trap. Hide things in plain sight, tempt you with a shiny decoy, and then throw in some nasty death traps, just for laughs. It's the number one cause of death for professional Tomb Raiders, you know. Also, I don't know if you've read it, but the law of the diamond has it that one of the nine ambassadors swallowed the diamond to steal it. Exactly. At least, I think so. We should find out for sure before we go any further. All right. Let's crack open that fat little ambassador and see what we've won. Hello, beautiful. Did that screech come from the diamond? Well, that's new. I guess Osman wasn't kidding about his diamond showing us the way. I don't know, but it's got a carving of Het's face on its base. He's the desert god those scales back in the palace vault were modeled on. This is definitely the right place to start. Any joy with that sundial yet? The detailing on the base seems to be of the lesser god head. If that helps any, he's the most human looking of all the desert gods. It looks like you've got to rotate the sticky up part to point at one of the symbols on the sundial's face. I doubt it'll help us here, but I could tell you a little about the desert gods. You're right, we got more pressing matters. Any joy with that sundial yet? Nicely done. What did you do? You mean head. Head sundial? Head symbol. That simple, huh? That beam of light coming out of the sundial must be our path of the sun. I guess that means we follow it. At this rate, we'll have the prince rescued before the day is out. Let's go. Look, there's the sundial. But something's off. Let's get closer.
The Shante Pass sundial pointed southwest, and the rumble we heard wasn't too far away. My guess is that was another sundial rising out of the sand. Huh? The top part of this sundial is broken off. I bet those bandits have it. Are you ready to take them on? Why won't you take me back home? What? That's not a very bandity thing to say. Turn back now. Take me back to the palace. Oh my gods. It's the diamond. The Karibib is talking to us through him. Take me back or you will die. We'll see about that. What? Who are these two? Kill them. Diamonds trying to get us killed! And leave the prince to die? If we don't rescue the prince, Menophos will start up the war again. How many innocent people will die then? Just so a shiny rock can sit on its pedestal. Just because it can talk, doesn't mean it's alive. We should hurry and fix this sundial. Hey, good! You've got the part to fix that broken sundial. That's two. This one's directing us northwest. Let's go. Hey, is that the base of a sundial? Where's the sundial itself? Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's just the same piece that was broken off the last sundial. But where's the sundial itself? It should be here. That's enough out of you, Diamond. We're not turning back. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hang on. It's more of a sinking feeling. Quick, Sam! This is great! I've never been in quicksand before! It'll make for a more exciting story when I retell it! Nah, quicksand's not that dangerous, if you know how to escape. Just get your legs up and lay flat. Make yourself buoyant. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> uh, why isn't it working? Oh, this isn't right. This isn't how quicksand works. Not real quicksand.
I can't reach it either. Neither can I. Anyone? We're over here. Nothing's working. We can't get out. This can't be how it ends. Leela, she'll never know that I... You okay? Oh, we got lucky. If there hadn't been this cavern underneath, we'd have drowned in that quicksand. Ah, oh, but not that lucky. I saw the diamond fall out of your pack when you landed. And I think I saw something scuttle away with it. It's just a diamond. If it could move by itself, it wouldn't need us to take it home. Also, I didn't see where that sundial bit went either. But at least we found the third sundial. Could you look around and see what you can find? I landed on something hard. I've hurt my leg. I need to rest up for a moment. Find anything? Having fun there? What am I sitting on? It's really... Oh! Uh, um, hey! Over here! I, um, found that missing sundial piece. I absolutely wasn't just sitting on it. Honest! Well, the sun's not gonna shine on it there. All fixed. Over to you. I didn't feel a rumble that time. Hmm. Maybe the next sundial isn't so close. Or it's because we don't have the diamond. But hey, at least the sundial lit up one of the tunnels. Probably not. But there's only one tunnel lit up. We'll just have to hope it leads us to the diamond. Wisdom before beauty. Don't go so fast. My leg still hurts. Just need to walk it off. I'll be fine. It's totally not just numb from sitting on that sundial piece for so long. Shh. Can you hear that? What is that noise? And that smell. Oh. I think it's getting darker, too. 
Looks bad, sounds bad, smells worse. But we need that blasted diamond back! I can just make out a tunnel ahead. Oh, I can't see a thing. With that noise, and that smell, I'm almost glad... I... My shin! Oh, what did I just step in? Hang on. I, I think I can feel a torch. No, that's definitely not a torch. Sorry about that. Ah, but that is... H hang on. Almost got it. Dung Calphites. Why did it have to be Dung Calphites? Any one of these Calphites could be rolling the diamond around. It's a needle in a haystack. Well, a diamond in some, uh... Yeah. I mean, seriously, come on. We're up to our eyeballs in... I know, I was just about to say we're in some really deep... Are you shushing me? <laughs> You're right. You're a genius. I can hear the diamond. We can use the noise to figure out which dung ball it's in. We should be able to see it sparkling too. There's a sword near the entrance you could use. The noise just got a little louder. Look for one Look that's over sparkling. Here. Look over here. A sapphire? Well, it's not a diamond, but it's a... Dropped an emerald. Look for another one that's sparkling. I think I just saw something. Oh, a ruby this time. We're making our way up. The next one's gonna be our diamond. I can feel it. Diamond, quick! Grab it before these little bugs roll it away! Hey, great! That must have been the fourth sundial rising! And look! It's made a hole in the ceiling! It's too high to reach, though. Any ideas how we can get out of here? Hello? Is someone down there? No way. Is that you, Leela? 
Ozan! Sure is! We're both down here! You boys need a hand? Hang on, I will lower a rope. Thanks! We'll be up in a second. Before we head up, can we keep what happened on this little underground detour between us? You know, what happened down here stays down here. Leela doesn't need to know. <laughs> yeah, me too. So let's just get out of this dung heap. See you topside. What is that god's awful stench? Let's just say you don't want to go down there. It's no cave of wonders. All right. In which case, what news from my father? Is he sending help? We are the help. But he at least sort of gave us the Karidib. What do you mean, sort of? Do not tell me you stole it. Well, technically... I do not believe you. You will never change. I sent you to my father for help, and this is how you go about it? This was his idea! Leela, listen! The Amir is dead. What? What did you do? Why would you assume I did anything? He's been ill for ages, and his heart just gave out. Oh, and that just coincided with your visit, I suppose. You are right. I'm sorry I snapped. Maybe you should tell me the whole story. There's one other thing. The diamond. It's more than just the diamond. It's been talking to us trying to get us to take it back to al Karid. What? Do not be silly. I, I grew up in the palace. If it were more than just a diamond, I would have known or heard about it. It is probably just your guilty conscience talking, or heat stroke, but you have nothing to feel guilty for. My father had no right to manipulate you like that, but that you did it anyway. Even knowing what you might lose if things go wrong, that's very... selfless of you. Easy there, Princess. You'll give me a bad reputation. You cannot just take the compliment, can you? Anyway, I am glad you're both here. Truly. Now, let's have a look at this sundial. Not to worry. I saw this bit fall off when it rose out of the sand. Here, let me... Fixed. From the sound of it, this should be the final sundial for you to solve. Okay. Okay. That's the last of them. It's pointing southwest. What was next? The lion's mouth was what the ransom note said, right? If I remember, there used to be an old temple to a mascot out that way. A mascot's animal aspect is a lioness. So perhaps that's what it means. Yeah, that could be where Kelly is holding the prince. Let's just hope we don't run into Amaska too. There's only room for one power-mad control freak of a lady in this kidnapping. You do mean Lady Kelly by that, right? 
Of course. Well, Kelly knew about the path of the sun thing. So she's not giving up Prince Ali until she has the diamond in her hands. So I guess we'll just have to give it to her. But that doesn't mean we can't get it back once the prince is safe. It is not much of a plan. But I suppose it is all we have got. So, let's go. Well, well, well. This feels familiar. If you've hurt the prince, I swear I'm gonna kick... Ozan, don't! I see you have trained him well, Leela. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Anyway, to business. Do you... Yes. We have the diamond. Hand over the prince. The diamond first! What makes you think we trust you to hand him over once you have it? What makes you think you have a choice? Give it to me. Please, no. Don't give me to her. What in the world is... It's the diamond again. It's talking through our pep. By the gods, it really does talk. I'm scared. She'll kill us all. I don't know. Just do something. I grow tired of asking. If you won't give it to me freely, I'll force you to. You, you can't, can't make me. me. I want to go home. Silence. Finally, after all these centuries, it's mine! Uh, centuries? In some ways, I've been after this heart since the day I was born! Enough with the evil monologue, lady. You've got your damn diamond. Now hand over the prince. And now that I hold it in my hands, it's so small, so hard, so cold. That explains so much. Hey, Kelly. Quit with the crazy. Just give us the prince. Crazy? You dare call me crazy? I am beautiful. I am powerful. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'd be the first to admit you're pretty statuesque. But you're one camel short of a caravan, and the whole psycho kidnapper thing really damages your appeal. Now, give us the prince. I'll pop your limbs from their sockets! I'll strip the flesh from your bones! I'll devour your soul! I'm not crazy! I am a goddess! I am a mascot! A mascot? A mascot. like the lady wants you all dead. You're dead! Hey, Apep. Nice eye patch. I can see why you wear it. It's to make your friend over there look half as ugly, right? <laughs> hey, take that back. We should do you a favor and put the other eye out. And maybe cut off your nose and ears, too. 
Sticks and stones, princess. Hey, only Ozan gets to call me that. I mean, I am not a princess! Your stick and stone. That's those two thugs taken care of. Come on, we should free the prince. Thank you, my friends. I am glad you have come to my rescue. But you should not have given her the carried ib. I cannot believe my father would have allowed it. About that, I'm... Uh, I'm not sure how to put this. He is... dead? Oh, prince. You are right. It was his heart. I am so sorry we could not rescue you sooner. It is okay, Lila. He has been ill for a long time. He has been preparing me to succeed him as a mir. But one can never be prepared for the death of a loved one. Then we should waste no time. We must get you safely home. Yes, you three should definitely do that. It's been an honor rescuing the prince with you, my friends. We would not have got this far without you. That's probably the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Leela. But I cannot return to al Karid until I've reclaimed that diamond. Somehow. From a goddess hell-bent on destruction. A 100% crazy, perpetually angry, scarily vengeful, bona fide goddess. Hey, if nothing else, it'll be a challenge, right? Should be fun. And good luck to you, my friend. I'm certain we'll bump into each other somewhere down the path. And when I return the diamond, maybe you'll stop being so hard on me, huh, princess? Oh, Ozan. See you around. Oh, we shall see. I hope. Come on, Prince. It is time to go home. Well, congratulations are in order. You have safely returned Prince Ali home. That is, Emir Ali now. He has succeeded his father. He'll prove to be a strong leader for al Karid. It is not all good news, father. We lost the diamond. No, Ozan lost the diamond. That is unfair, and you know it. He only did what you asked of him. I did not ask him to steal the diamond. In fact, I told him not to. That was his choice. No. You manipulated him into doing what you wanted. Just like you do with your agents. Just like you do with me. Keep your voice down, girl. Ozan knew what was at stake. He chose his path and must take responsibility for his actions. Perhaps if his thieving skills were as good as he thinks, he'd have brought the diamond back with you. We were up against the goddess. A mascot was behind this whole thing. In this game, you have to be prepared for anything. Well, I refuse to play your game any more. You will do as you are told, and return to your area in Draenor. Oh! I shall return to Draenor, but not for you. I have some loose ends of my own there to deal with. I am done with you and your games. Lila, please. I am leaving. Amaskat and Menaphos are plotting God's know what. 
She has to be stopped. Ah, Jabari. What message does the Emir have for me? None anymore, my lady. My mission was a success. Osman was suspicious of me from the start. No surprise there, but he was so distracted with the kidnapping I had free reign on the palace. A tiny dose of poison in the Emir's nightly incense did the trick. They believe his death to be of natural causes. Excellent. I may need your skills as an ambassador again in the future. The payment was also delivered. <laughs> he thinks it his salvation, but it will be his undoing. Did you get the heart, my lady? I almost didn't. That beetle brain fool Skabaras almost ruined things, but he's poked his head out of the sand now. I'll deal with him soon enough, and then nothing will stand in my way. Return to Minafos. Attend the Pharaoh. I have business here. Yes, my lady. I live to see. Ah, Leela. That girl becomes more like her mother every day. She'll come around, she always does. Anyway, as I said before, congratulations are in order. You have shown yourself to be a most efficient agent. And for that, you must be rewarded. Indeed, I may have more work in future for someone with your ability. Mm -hmm.